This is Dime Bag Daryl out of my motherfucking mind like I always am, but on top of my own game and in tune, insane. Reality check, cocksucker. Later. All right, Reality Check viewers, uh, it's a, a sad, sad time here for us at Reality Check HQ. Um, our good friend, Dimebag Daryl, is no longer with us due to some idiot who couldn't figure it out. So, um, we just want to say uh, our condolences to all of his family, his friends, and all of the other people who were involved and who were also tragically killed that day. Um, in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm really sorry I didn't get to see you when you were here in SF, but uh, nonetheless, you'll live on in our memory, and we always appreciate you checking that shit. Just uh, want to say, um, you know, tore up about what happened with Dimes. Um, tragedy, of course, and uh, I'm going to miss him a lot. He was one of my favorite guitar players. I think that he preserved the blues and the rhythm and blues, part of rock and roll. And uh, Hello, mother. Part of rock and roll, so Pete. And, uh, and, you know, I think he just represented the pure across the board rock and roll good time vibe without political issues or standing for a bunch of stuff i just think he was an awesome guy and i'll miss him a lot How'd you hear about the event? How'd you hear about um a good friend of mine called me within 35 minutes of the uh of the incident and told me to get on a couple boards that had people who had just come home from the the event and i just then i was glued to the internet for about 30 hours you know what i'm saying what do you think? What do you saw my post on Tales of the Pit. Yeah, yeah. He's, and you saw my posts on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 like, you said you were hanging out with him just two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago at the Grand uh, with the um, the Haunted and Shadows Fall. And, uh, of course, treated us like gold. The, the text, the cat, Vince, uh, you know, our guitar player, Dave Rude, hung out with, with uh, Dimes most of the night, and they went out to the bar and chilled. And it's just, you know, the normal grind. Uh, we were on the bus at the end of the night, and the bus started up, and I jumped up, and I said, oh, that's my cue, you know, rumbling bus, it's time to go. And uh, he said, oh, game over, punch the clock, and he punched his clock out, cut his hand. So my last time with Dimes was me and Dave washing his hand off. Um, and uh, I'll just miss him a lot, man. What do you think? What do you think clubs and venues can learn from, from, from last night's incident? What do you think they can do? Well, I think it's hard for I think it's hard for clubs and venues to keep their clubs going, let alone heighten the security. Now, I just and think let alone it, not be dicks as security guards. I, I think they have to temper. Job. I think they have to temper that re right now. Really, you know, it's it, you put a lot of guidelines down on clubs. Clubs gone. You know, I think this is an isolated incident with an over-affected fan or whatever it may turn out to be. Obviously, this guy had screws loose, but I also do believe that it's relevant to the state of, of what's uh, vogue right now. You know, 250 million handguns on the streets of America, dude, you know, and uh, people settling their issues with the handgun, dude, it's just got to stop. You know? Still, I think it's a fucked up person. Oh, I think it's terrible, and I, you know, but... Right on, Dimes. Horns up. Parents, teach your fucking kids. Reality check. Servants. Don't right on. As soon as we get our crap together, we get it on out. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, I hear it. I want to get you. I didn't want that.
want to I want to get your take on what happened last night. Holy with, with shit! What, what's Yo, your take on that? Can I? Hey. Hey, can wait a second, Steve. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hey. What, what's your What's your take on that? I'll start that over for you. Without a doubt. God bless him, man. It's a shame. To be, you know, we're all, all musicians are just entertainers, like actors, comedians, just entertainers. And, and those are he was, the, wonderful people yeah. taken away, like John Lennon. It, 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 it's just, maybe, you know, 25 years later, but it, it's kind of like a John Lennon thing, you know, just taking somebody special away with so many millions. Millions and millions of people is a fucking lie. Just taken away from you know that that is like, it's like if if he died when he was like 80, you know God bless him. But yeah, senseless. And of course, Don Back Don Back Joe, a former guest of Reality, who gave us one of the best moments on our show. And we're gonna play that for you in a while. Millions of people, wonderful moments. I'll entertain, if, if any moment that you were in your bedroom by yourself or in your car, rocking out and your heart and your soul just felt good, listening to Dimebag play, and you were rocking out air guitar with them, he entertains you, and that's millions of people. Is he done with this? Hey man, you got Dime Bag kicking it once again down here at the NAM Festival. This is your 2003. Check that shit. You're on reality check, brother. Thank you. Sign that to Jesse. Yeah, set it up. Go for it. Hey man. Hey, y'all reached Isaac Hayes. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually just Isaac with his wig hairdo kicked in. Hanging out here at NAM with the dime bag. Y'all leave that motherfucker a message, and I mean make it sick. Walk it out. I'm just like you, I won't say jack shit. I just walk around and like do weird shit, you know, kiss people and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, anyway, man, I got some buckethead home video action. Hope you like that. You're carrying the spirit, man. Running the torch. You look like the Keith. Last, the last one. Right big here. boy. Big boy. Keith, play Wasper. Keith. Keith. TV. 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 There you go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got one back. Right here. Right here. How you doing? Is that fucking same to you? Reality check. Oh, y'all are back. Yes. I need a fucking reality check again. Oh, shit. Here you go. That's a video I did. Hey, check the reality. Same cat you saw last time. Still blowing it up. How you doing, man? Give me a reality check. Yeah, you got it. Still doing it, man. That's great, man. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Give me a quick station ID. That's good. I'm about to start ringing up some 25 of them. Let's go. Step back out of my head. I'm out of here, baby. Girl, whatever you are. What are we doing? Uh, it's Reality Check TV in San Francisco. Oh, you better check this one out then. All right, so we're here with Dimebag Daryl. How's it going with you, man? Take care. Some duty reality checks. Uh, later, man. Yeah, later. <laughs> so I want to actually talk about your guitar, man. That's an awesome piece of work. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, really, what, what's not uh, obvious about it? I mean, it's really, awesome. yeah. it kicks ass, man. Uh, same ones I play on stage are the same ones I can pick up out of a store any second. Uh, check out on them, man. They're always, you know, it's no different. I don't play no special one, and then we sell a bullshit model, you know? Uh, you know, my whole deal is I grew up as a kid, man. I'm still a big kid, as you can tell. Checking my reality check up inside the skull here. Absolutely. Anyway, so I just wanted to always make things honest like they were when I was a kid. You know, I didn't want to go buy somebody else's piece of shit, you know, and them playing something badass on stage and not really get the, the full truth out of it and whatnot. And we give it up, man. I got nothing to hide. We got nothing to hide. And uh, the way things are going now, you got to be honest, man. Put it all out there. And that's the deal. Hey. Speaking of something, not hiding something, let's see the ace tattoo, man. I ain't been trying to hide that, never. Yeah. Dude, this is the sweet. 
Look at that. That's the bad boy right there. How long did it take to do that? Two and a half hours and about a 12 package of beer and about a half bottle of Crown. <laughs> Nothing to it. So you know a good friend of mine, Richie Scarlett. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he used to give me guitar lessons back in the day. He gave me guitar lessons? No, he gave me guitar lessons. Oh, did he? Yeah, he I was, I was, older, man, if I got a couple lessons off Richie, man, I'd be happening. He's amazing, isn't he? He is damn killer, he is man. A fucking unbelievable guitar player and a great guy as well. So he was telling me a great story about you got him turned on to Crown Royal. Well, shit, uh, no different story than anybody else will tell you, I guarantee you. <laughs> we can thank Vinny, uh, Vinny oh. Paul and oh. Dimebag from Pantara for getting us hooked on Crown Royal. My, li my liver has not been the same since we did the, uh, we opened for Pantara on an arena tour a couple months back. And uh, I used to drink Jack, but it's now, thank you, Dimebag, Crown Royal. Crown Royal. Ah, yes. That refreshes. I, I did seven shots of Crown Royal. But the Emperor oh, needs oh. his crown, right? Well, I did seven, that's right. Ooh. Did seven, did seven shots with Dimebag, and he gave me the eighth one. I started spinning. And... Uh, Started spinning, lost my appetite. He said, he said, "What? You're not gonna take it?" He goes, "I'm calling Ace right now. I'm gonna tell him you're a pussy." <laughs> <laughs> Shot? No. <laughs> they should. You should get an endorsement from them. Well, that's on its way. We got Crown Roll guitars. Larry, have we made a, a Crown Roll guitar or not? Yes, we have. Really? No. Yes, we have. And a Crown Roll yeah. four spring. Really? And well, we have to have, have one of those here. Right Are you really? Yeah. So maybe we should take a sneak peek at it. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We. In the fret markers, reality check that one. Right on, right on. I like that. Crown inlays on the frets. I like that. That's awesome. You got it? <laughs> I think we brought it, man. I'm gonna charge him up for this damn thing here. I'm gonna check your reality right now. Right on. All right, Dan. Cool. Always oh, fired up, man. Here's my, here's oh, look at that card. purple face. We'll get you. Oh, yeah, I want to check that out. Yeah, we'll get a close up on the fret markers with crown roll bottles on that motherfucker. Out. <laughs> right on. All right, man. Thanks again, bro. Larry. All right, get lost, man. I'm out of my chick. <laughs> All right. Reality's setting in, man. I'm out of here. Take care. Thanks a lot, Larry. You got it. Thank you. That's tight. It's tight. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Can I like it. Yeah, it's tight. tight. Yeah, it's beauty is. Smell that and get a reality check. Reality check. Mm. There you go. It's your boy reality check number one. Going down. Woo! Going up in the bag, flipping positions with the cameraman because he's going down with the queen. Here we go. 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 Here comes his reality check. Loosen up and see it all. Oh. All right. Ah. Why two games when you Love it. Like, yeah. The There's a man I can like. Yeah. That's a good drink. That's a good reality check right there. Go over there and film her ass. <laughs> check her out. I'm going to give her a check real quick. <laughs> this is your reality check. <laughs> what do you mean? You're taking this my drink? Be nice to me. Reality check. <laughs> Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, we get the. Watch out! Say no, guitar. Check it out. Reality check. Better check your shit. Bad motherfucker. Shenanigans are plenty here on reality check. Right, sir. Trust me. We smell like Crown Royal all day. Got it everywhere. Change of clothes after this one, folks. That's right. <laughs>